In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English expression, sounds good. Now, this is something we say to people when we are agreeing with them. If a friend of mine said, hey, Bob, do you want to meet at the restaurant tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning for some breakfast? I might say, sounds good. I'll see you then. Sometimes Jen needs help with some work when I get home from school. And if Jen says, hey, when you get home tomorrow, can you come out and help me with something? I might say, sounds good. As soon as I get home, I'll put my farm clothes on and I'll come out and help you with that. I usually don't wear my school clothes when I'm working on the farm. They would get muddy and my shirts wouldn't last as long. I'll talk about that more in a moment. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today or term or expression actually is sounds bad. And we also sometimes just say that doesn't sound good. And this is something we say when something isn't good. So if I knew someone who went to the hospital and they needed to get x-rays, I might say, oh, sounds bad. Do you think they broke a bone? Um, if someone says to me, um, I wrote an English test a couple weeks ago. I haven't got my results back yet, but I don't think I did very well. I might say, oh, that sounds bad. Notice sometimes we put that in front, that. That sounds bad. Hopefully you did okay. So to review, when you say sounds good, it means you're happy about something. You're looking forward to something. You think it's good. Um, hey, Bob, can you make a video next week for us? Sounds good. I'll get right on it. And if someone says sounds bad, it usually means you think a situation isn't good. If someone says there was a windstorm the other day and lots of trees fell over, you might say, oh, sounds bad there. I hope things will be okay. Um, sometimes the electricity goes out too and it, it sounds worse than it is. So, uh, you, but you still might say, oh, sounds bad. I hope the electricity comes back on soon. So to review, oh, did I review already? I think I did, didn't I? Oh, I'm losing track of what I'm doing. Let's look at a comment from a previous video. Let's do that instead. And if I did re forget to review, then oh well, <laughs> I didn't do it this time. I think I did though. Anyways, it's been a long week. This is how my braid works. This is from Unsel, and Unsel, I shortened your comment a bit. I hope that's okay with you. It was a great comment. I just didn't have time to read all of it. Unsel says, hi, teacher Bob, all your shirts look brand new. How do you manage to preserve, to preserve your shirts for many years? Uh, I'm saying the word wrong. How do you manage to preserve your shirts for many years without fading or wearing out? If you don't have several of the same ones, can you share the secret? And my response, I have slowly cycled through some of them, but I do have shirts that are 20 years old. This one is in fact that old. They are good enough to wear underneath a sweater, but not quite good enough to wear by themselves. Because I usually wear blue plaid, many of them might look similar in my videos. So thanks Unsel for that. Yeah, my blue shirts. <laughs> so one of the things I've noticed is that um, because I work inside and I'm not in the sun, and because as a teacher, I don't do any physical labor. Like I'm not lifting things or moving things throughout the day. Um, I think my shirts just last longer. My clothes that I wear on the farm do not last as long as the clothes I wear for work at school. Uh, and I'll, also I'm not in the sun, right? I'm inside all day. So maybe there's less wear on the shirts as well. So what am I doing out here? I'm walking along what I think are forsythia bushes. I just love this yellow color. I should have checked with Jen before I start saying the name out loud. Um, I'm out here for a walk, trying not to trip over the plants. Um, they're trying to grab me. I'll show you what just about grabbed me there. So this is quite thorny. That's why, <laughs> sorry, that was a good example. That's why uh, farm clothes don't last as long as school clothes. I don't walk by thorny bushes when I'm at school. Anyway, so I hope you're having a good day. I hope this uh, rather scatterbrained English lesson actually helps you a little bit. I'll see you next week with another one. Bye.